Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Had a pretty, well let's be honest, had a pretty shitty cane run. And you know what, I'm kind of feeling like Judas might be awesome to go with again. It's been a couple runs since I did a Judas run. All we need, some way to replenish our health. Wow, this is like serious deja vu to that cane run. Exact same room at the start here. Uh, some way to regenerate our health, and then we're golden basically. Got enough damage from the start, got enough speed and other such stats. Obviously, I basically consider range up to be 100% useless, but we will see what we come across here. I'm hoping that, like I said in the last video, it didn't end up working out. Actually, the reason I lost the last video, if you haven't seen it, is largely because I thought there was an exploit in the game where you could use the game kid to basically just get every item in the deal with the devil room and... Oh my god. <laughs> Let's restart. Uh, to get every item in the deal with the devil room. Wow, that's a good start. Uh, at zero cost, but it ended up costing me, and the items I got in the deal with the Devil Room were horrible. Uh, Ouija board and nine lives, which is, you know, largely useless. At least without certain other upgrades that I did not have. I had a fair amount of tier effects, but wasn't able to, to convert that into a successful run. Despite having, like, eight opportunities to defeat every single room in the game. But this time, I'm hoping that things will turn out a little bit better. Despite the fact that, you know, we're a minute and a half into the video and I've already had one unsuccessful run already. Because all it takes is one bomb to destroy you when you are, uh, you know, playing as Judas. Probably, like, with Judas, it's high risk, high reward. You get, like, really good opportunities as long as you get decent items, but you also have huge risk, particularly in the early game. Judas, like, starts off weak and then gets stronger as the game goes on, as long as you get the good items. He's like a... Oh, that's a good item. Just all stats up right off the bat, including one extra health. Uh, he's, he's like a, a hard carry, you know? If you get Judas the proper amount of farm, uh, then he's going to be able to carry you through the later game. And, you know, picking up this item right off the bat is going to go a long way towards helping us out here. I've got, like, incredible speed already. Damage and range. Obviously satisfactory, at the very least. Hoping to pick up, you know, maybe like three more cents so I can go to the shop on the first floor. I don't even really need to get rid of the Book of Belial yet. I mean, it's a strong item. I, it, Scales well into the late game, as long as we're still doing a you know, Dota talk here. There we go! <laughs> but uh, I could use like some kind of passive upgrade, a compass would be awesome, ladder would be decent enough, battery... Lots of good potential options here, and actually it might be awesome to just fight Greed on this first floor and get him out of the way. Well, you know, put my money where my mouth is, I said the ladder was going to be a good choice, so we will pick that up. No idea where the secret room is, but that's not a problem because I cannot go to the secret room anyway, because I have zero bombs, and there's like five or six different possible locations for it right now, given the layout of this floor. So let's test it out. We got our Meat Boy upgrade on level one, by way of this famine. I mean, that's assuming I, I win this fight, which I guess is not guaranteed. But, you know, you would expect, considering I have Book of Belial, all stats up, full health, you know, lots of things going in my favor right now. Continue doing our half circle strafing here. Easy peasy, there's our Meat Boy upgrade. Wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing if I could pick up a Book of Revelations now, guarantee myself some future Meat Boy upgrades. And maybe, you know, get a level 4, level 5 Meat Boy. Moon, that takes us to the item room, I think. Secret room, okay. Well, you know what, there's six cents for us. Steam sale would have been awesome on the last floor as well, but oh well. Oh, I gotta be a little bit careful here. I'm hoping for a troll bomb so I can get to that uh, tinted rock over there in the uh, bottom right corner. Sadly, no. But we'll recall that room above the question mark has either a rock or some bombs or some spirit hearts contained therein. Which could be useful for me. Of course, now we get a ton of troll bombs for killing those human popcorn. Mom's pad! Shitty item! Let's move onwards. And I'm gonna have no way to access this chest here. I can't believe... Oh god, immolated hoppers! It's been a while! We got two of them, but it's not gonna be an issue. Oh shit, maybe it is. Come on! There we go. No means to get there. No means to get this chest either, which is pretty awful. I would hope to have like at least one bomb by now. I'm not even key rich, so it's not that good. But, I mean, there is the chance. Ideal situation. Beat the boss here, take no damage, get a health up, and then trade two spirit hearts, or sorry, two regular hearts for the uh, the nail upgrade. Then I can just walk around, because there's another tinted rock in here, so like, spirit hearts coming out of my ass if I only had like two bombs. 
Maybe even one bomb, just get the chain started. Damn, that sucks. Alright, again, a single bomb, all I need. More valuable than, like, maybe not more valuable than a health upgrade right now, but definitely more valuable than, like, a speed upgrade or something. We do have a couple more rooms with which to potentially get to it. More hearts that I couldn't possibly need less. Pride could give us the, um, Anarchist Cookbook. And if he did give us the Anarchist Cookbook, we could just take that for, like, one room. Oh, that was close. Or at least the Tower card. Strength, oh my god, I can't believe. The one time I wanted the Tower card. Okay, now we have Duke of Flies, we'll use Strength, we'll use Book of Belial. Tons of stats on this room. Uh, we should be able to kill this guy in, like, five hits. By way of these enormous bullets I'm firing. He has basically no recourse with which to damage me, so I will finish the floor without taking any damage. More health drops, of course, what could I possibly need with bombs? Health up, health up. Health up, deal with the devil. Shovel and Ouija board. Embarrassing lack of riches so far. I still have no bombs that I can use to get down to the next floor. Here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up to the shop. I will pay five cents for a bomb. Or I guess it's like seven cents for some kind of upgrade in case there's a steam sale, that would be awesome. Of course there is a steam sale in here for 15 cents that I can't possibly afford. And now we'll go into this room. Drop our bomb, hopefully pick up the rock. But you know, two spirit hearts is fine too. Shoot the poop here. Or shoot the fire, I should say. And that's a pretty damn disappointing floor. Hate to say it, uh, but... I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of shit here that could be awesome for me. Oh well, there's not much we can do about it, so let's just head down to the next floor. And hopefully here we'll pick up a bomb bag or something. Something that can get me out of this, this hole I find myself in. My world is a, is a prison right now. But luckily I'm actually not trapped uh, as much on this room as I normally am. Because I can use my ladder to get out of that dead end in the corner. More keys, I mean that's useful, I'll need them to go to the item room on this floor. Regardless. I have some shots in here. Book of Revelations. Oh, sorry. Book of Belial is ready. There we go. Bombs and the rock and a spirit heart. That's beautiful. Exactly what I needed right now. Now I can start to get some more spirit hearts. Get some more money. You know, get some more items just out of those. Start digging our way out of this hole. Oh, man. I, I can't use the ladder there. That was bad. I wanted to put myself in a, in a good situation, but I was coming at it from the wrong direction. Here we go. Standing in our safe zone. This is one of the reasons why the ladder... Thought would be so valuable right now. Again, just basically hoping to pick up a ton of money. Here is our tinted rock. Gave us a single key for the price of a bomb, which is not a good trade for the situation I'm in right now. We will fight our bomb fly version of Fistula. Could be a little bit tricky. Uh, there's no like way I could use my ladder on this room to make my life easier, unfortunately. Oh, bomb fly is actually going to speed this way up for us. And we may get another deal with the devil here. Which would be, again, awesome for me. I could maybe even trade spirit hearts. Nope, no deal with the devil, because the game is running full-blown troll engine right here. But I've taken zero damage so far, I believe, which is pretty remarkable, considering that usually I have at least a small degree of ineptitude when I play Isaac. There's Judgment, maybe later. This is a room that I often take damage on. Maybe I can actually get myself out of this situation without taking... Needless stupid damage. I feel like stupid damage has really disappeared as a catchphrase as I've gotten a little bit better. Oh, come on, I just need to like, stack the ladder end to end twice. I believe that's one I could only get if I was flying or if I had the magnet, I suppose. An item I, I think is actually pretty bad. <laughs> it's like a ladder. Gotta be careful not to shoot that TNT. It's like a ladder, but with no possible defensive purposes. Another key, and Book of Belial is ready in case we run into a mini boss or something. Play it cool here. Got to at least visit the item room on this floor. Hate these guys. Come on, give me like a noose or something so I can go to this gauntlet room. Judgment. All right, <laughs> again. Apparently. Oh, rosary. That's actually really good for us. That's going to give us a ton of spirit hearts. People have told me if you use judgment on the deal with the devil room, he will always drop a deal with the devil item. So I'm going to save this judgment for, you know, when that would become possibility. And I'm going to save my money. I'm not going to use it on Judgment in there. Because I will have to use that on the Judgment. 
in the deal with the devil room, should we ever come across one again, which is not necessarily a guarantee. But I'm trusting the viewers on this one. This run's going actually very well so far, despite the fact that I haven't really gotten any insane items. Obviously that all stats plus one is pretty good. Might as well use the lovers here. We'll have some hearts just in case we ever need them. Uh, I really just wanted to hold on to this judgment card above all else. Should be a little bit more cautious. Awesome, we got some bombs there. Room could be tricky, because my feeble human brain can't process all these shots, but certainly this is not going to be a game ender. Oh no! <laughs> uh, it took damage for the first time. I was, I was hoping for a perfect run, man. I'm sure someone out there has done it, and I wanted that someone to be me. Oh well. Moving onwards here. Tons of spirit arts. Ladder is going to make this room 100% no-brainer. There's basically no recourse for these guys. Sorry about that. Health I can't use, but you know, again, if I run into like a blood bank or something. Okay, let's do it again. Just make sure both feet are firmly planted on the ladder. Please keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. And we have Chubb, which is not really that useful for me. Sorry, this is Chad. Always make that mistake. Which is not really all that useful for me because uh, I don't plan on being that low on red hearts for a while. I'm doing well on spirit hearts right now. But at least I'm not blue baby. I mean, there's always a chance that Chad could come in handy, I suppose. And the problem with Chad is that he gets faster the more you hit him because he gets smaller. But... Doesn't matter, things worked out okay. Now yeah, we go to the deal with the devil room. Hello, deal with the devil. There's Demon Baby in the pact. I will probably get the pact. First, judgment. We'll use him in here. Give me some items, bro. Alright, there's a bomb. That's good. I could use that. Please don't screw me here, judgment. I will be furious. Troll bomb. If you blew yourself up, that would have been really bad for you. Come on. Come on. Hey, there we go. Help up. That is not a deal with the devil item. I was lied to. Alright, so there's the pact. Extra stats. I'm gonna save Demon Baby. I don't really need it right now. We'll continue exploring, because obviously I have a lot of advantages right now. So now's the time to, you know, press those advantages and get even more advantages. Doing insane damage here. Like, not even... I don't even need the Book of Belial. I guess we'll just continue moving onwards here. Feeling really good about my chances with Judas. This isn't speedrun worthy, certainly. We're already at 13 minutes, so we're not, like, anywhere near the end of the game. I think you almost have to have either Brimstone or uh, Fetus in a Jar to make uh, a speedrun possible. Maybe Mom's Knife would work as well. But I'm, I'm getting a little bit uh, lazy or a little bit careless with my play here because I'm feeling confident. But, you know, that's, that's a bad sign, but it's also a good sign. Because if I was playing more carefully, that would probably mean that I had shitty items. But right now, I have fantastic items. No need to get that. And we're gonna explore here. We've already finished off the boss. So, we can just look for the item room. Shop's probably not a possibility. That's okay. Because we don't really need anything else. Could use Book of Revelations, but we already have the relics, so I mean... We have a way to regenerate health as long as we don't... You know, waste it. Too wantonly. Our damage is, is solid on all fronts, basically. We've had two upgrades that were basically all stats up. All we really need now is, like, money. <laughs> if I can get money, get some batteries to get Book of Belial charged more frequently. I don't know. It's all gravy at this point. Way more bombs. Don't really want to go to the arcade. Although I do have a lot of hearts back here, so I could gamble a little bit on the, uh, the blood bank. Yeah, I was figuring I was going to take damage there. Oh, well. Shit happens. What do we have in our item room? I'm expecting something useless. Broken mirror. Interesting. Um, it's going to cause our shots to kind of, like, reflect back to us. It's decent. Let's go to the arcade and I will gamble like all but one half of a spirit, or all, all but one half of a red heart. Could probably gamble more, but the thing is I don't really want to like do that much backtracking. Just hoping to pick up some decent cash here as well as maybe uh, a blood bag. Well, you know what? We're up to 13 cents. Let's go back, regenerate a little bit of health. Because I know there's at least two in like one of those rooms up there. We might as well go until we get 15 cents, and then we can go to the shop and potentially buy something useful there. And, you know, just continue pressing this advantage that we built up already. There, there we go. Well, I'm not going to get the 15 cents. Uh, unless I shoot this nonsense here, or maybe, like, try to gamble at the slot machine or something. But instead, I'm just going to save my money, and we'll check in on a later floor. Maybe I'll look for the uh, secret room. 
Very lucky on my part. Unicorn horn. Not so lucky, maybe. Should have shot that fire. Oh, well. Again, things going exceptionally well right now. Unlike the last video, it seems like everything's kind of falling into place right now. I mean, the broken mirror upgrade is weird. Uh, and I'm probably not going to get a whole lot of use out of it. But I'm feeling like we have a huge potential to get a battery at some point in the near future. We are going to get at least one spirit heart from this floor. Yeah, just one. Not from this floor, of course. I mean this room. Uh, this can be kind of a tricky room. Probably should have taken out the nubs first. The thing with the broken mirror is that it does decrease my range a little bit because the shots don't go as far before, uh, like, tilting back. Hopefully that doesn't end up being a big deal, though. The good thing is, like, on rooms like this, I can basically just spam shots, and when I miss, there's still, like, a 20% chance that they're going to come back and do some damage. Maybe not at the target I originally aimed at, but it's not really such a big deal, is it? Got some leapers here, including a champion leaper, but again, my reflection. Going to do some work here. Provided I could actually hit some shots in the first place. There we go, champion's dead. Come on. Come on, baby. Easy mode. Two free cents because we got... That's Troll Bomb. We got Greed. This is worth using Book of Belial, I think. Uh, we'll have it recharged before the boss fight anyway. Easy, easy, easy. I was kind of hoping he would drop the Steam Sale, but the money's good as well. We'll use this on the shop in the Depths Part 2 to potentially pick up one more like game-breaking item that would really make things super easy for me at this point. I mean, I don't even need, like, a, mo a brims Brimstone or Mom's Knife at this point. I might... Eh, we might as well use it at least once, because we're already here. <laughs> Get a nickel out of it, that's fair. Uh, and we might use it even more if we end up having to backtrack, because obviously there's a bunch of hearts down there, which would be easy enough for me to get. But otherwise, I'm lazy, so I don't want to deal with it. Please just attack the nub, thank you. Drop the bomb for the spirit hearts potentially here. Yeah, it's a chest, which gave me basically nothing of worth. Four extra cents for a key and a bomb. And a half heart as well that I'll use to check out this thing. And one more cent. Maybe not the, the best trade, but it certainly wasn't super lopsided. It wasn't a Gretzky trade, let's put it that way. Just got grandfather flies in this room. And we reached a dead end, which means I am actually... Well, I guess we'll take this pill first. Ah! Uh, I will go back to this blood bank and use it probably like three, maybe even four more times. The reason being that there's tons of hearts basically on the way without backtracking. So we might as well get some more money. Now, money equals power. One more time. Would be... Oh, awesome. It <laughs> would be an insane upgrade right now. There's that bug that Ed talked about in our collaboration. Obviously not such a huge deal. There's no Orion Dino beatdown. First time luck hasn't actually worked out in my favor in a while. So, we'll just continue moving onwards here. Another Spirit Heart Larry Jr., which is awesome for me. Because our, we're going to have health officially off the screen now. A little bit of extra bomb coverage. This is kind of a tricky room. One of the few rooms that I come across where a Ouija board was that would actually be incredibly useful. But there we go. Detach heads from bodies and then everything else becomes easy. Hmm, nothing here. Move onwards to Zombie Room, which I do not like, but there is a Tinted Rock, which gives us a single key, which is, like, terrible value, but oh well. What are you going to do about it, right? Can't always get what you want. And so far, uh, this run has been nothing to complain about. Now, this <laughs> Zombie's AI is something to complain about, though. Finally. Go up. I don't know why. I feel like up is the, the proper decision here. And I was indeed correct, but we still haven't been to the item room, so I guess we'll fight the boss, use the Book of Belial on that, then make our way to the item room. I'm not sure if we'll be able to go to deal with the Devil Room, because I did lose a lot of health at those um, at the Blood Bank back there, but I'm not sure if that actually factors into the decision. Not like anyone like is maliciously saying you can't go to the, the deal with the Devil Room. Anyway, we'll just see if it procs. For lack of a better word, it should take out this gish because shots are kind of annoying me. There we go. Just continue firing here. And actually, getting gish is going to be awesome because, you know, in conjunction with our super powerful shots, uh, the ability to slow our enemies is going to be huge. It's going to be an easy fight. 
No deal with the devil room, but there is our sweet baby Gish. Also going to help us out a little bit just in pure crowd control. Take the shortcut over the chasm there. Just gonna try to uh, spam shots while avoiding setting these guys' alarms off. There we go. Worked out fairly well. Ah, oh, we got some more lifesteal. Borderline useless at this point. Oh well. Let's check one more time for secret room. I'm feeling lucky. And I am lucky. Contained therein. Nine more cents. So we are up to 47 goddamn cents that I can't even really spend on anything. But hopefully we have an insanely good floor for the shop on the depths part two. With my luck it'll be like Steam Sale, The Bible, items that don't appeal to me in the least. But, oh well. Again, still can't really complain, even though I did take some damage there. I don't think we can get a deal with the Devil Room on uh, the Devs Part 2. So I guess I don't have to worry so much about my health here. Or about, like, losing health. We got here a chest, potentially chestception, so I don't want to deal with that. Could lose a lot of keys for basically no return. Got champion fetuses. Fetus eye. I seem to run into this problem all the time. Ah, we're going to take one full heart of damage there. Has the relic been working? Or, like, have I just not been noticing it? I guess I haven't gotten that many spirit hearts from, uh, Tinted Rock, so it probably has been working. I've just not been noticing it. Alright, managed to kill that nub right off the bat. Super useful. Gotta be very careful with my dodging here. I hate these rooms with these goddamn platforms. And the fetuses keep teleporting. If I could just kill the fetus, then there we go. It's simple. We have to kill the fetus. That was my best Joker impression. Eighth place in my high school Joker competition. Joker sound alike competition. I went to a very alternative high school uh, in Gotham City. There we go. Judgment. I mean, I probably will end up giving him a lot of money considering I have 48 cents right now. And basically nothing to do with it. Until uh, I check out the shop. That was easy enough. Might as well use this pill. What's the worst that could happen? Tears up. Alright, that counteracts the, te the tears down pill that I got on a couple floors ago. Just continue spamming shots here. Easy mode. There's our oh, item room and shop. Awesome. And I have enough keys to get to both. I've been very blessed by the troll engine on this run. That basically everything I've wanted... Well, I haven't wanted... And what did I tell you? Of course we would run into the Bible on this floor. Uh, because that makes, or the relic makes the Bible appear on every floor. We'll pick up the spirit heart, check out the item room. Mr. Boom. Not really worth it compared to my Book of Belial. So let's go back here. We'll talk to Judgment. We'll drop a bomb here to potentially find the secret room. Nope. Alright, my luck's starting to change. Alright, Judgment. Give me something good here. Book of Revelations. Just a regular HP upgrade would be awesome as well, because I would love to trade with the Devils shortly. We can't necessarily bank on that. There we go, tons of keys. I mean, it's something. I guess I can use those on chests coming up. Keep it up, keep it up. Taking a lot of my money here, buddy. Considering you've only given me a key, or two keys and a bomb. There we go. The Bible! Awesome, and I took damage. Really, really don't need that at all. <laughs> it's a pretty bad item. Once once you gain the skills to defeat Mom yourself, the Bible is basically a one-trick pony. It, it basically allows you to fly for a room. Uh, I can't believe I just walked into that. I told you, things are starting to turn. I'm, I'm not necessarily in the position I was two minutes ago. Just make ourselves safe here. Broken mirror will... Do some work. Might as well pick up this money. I mean, I'm not sure what we're going to do with it because we had such a shitty shop, but... Oh well. I'm sure we'll find something. And we should be... Oh god, come on. Yes. We should be coming up to uh, the boss room shortly. I've explored basically the entire floor. It's got to be like a room adjacent to this next room. Eh, maybe a little bit further away. Oh well. Again, basically just hoping on some kind of amazing drop. Probably won't come. I, like, I haven't been over-blessed in this run. That was bad. Uh, 
Like, I'm, I'm certainly not OP right now, but I, I'm quite strong. Hmm, wait for this creep to disappear. Use Book of Belial for our mom fight. This should be easy. There's another Tinted Rock in here, which is awesome for me. Let's continue bad in the eyes here. Crossing the T's. Need a little bit of crowd control. I really don't want to be standing so close to the uh, to the sides. Is that arm? Oh my god, that arm ended so many of my of my runs last time. Again, uh, getting light steel is so useless. As is this range upgrade. But hey, two spirit arts, please. Three bombs for one bomb. That's fine too. I can use those. Definitely make good use of those on the womb. We're coming in here without a compass, which is awful. So the secret to the womb, for anyone who like, hasn't been here when I articulated this earlier, is basically just getting through it as fast as possible. Like, even if you have a ton of health, these rooms can just beat you down. Check for spirit hearts. Nope. Uh, these rooms can just beat you down if you stay on them too long. Which is why I greatly prefer uh, having like a compass at this point, so I can just finish the, the floor as easily as possible. As quickly as possible. Tower card, not really useful in the least. Could probably make this room uh, incredibly easy for us, but also potentially dangerous. And you know, four two-headed, or two-pronged, two-piece Larry Juniors. Not really uh, that much of a threat for us. That troll bomb could be. I'm just gonna back off. And we've chosen the wrong direction, which is you know, a feeling that I know all too well when it comes to these womb runs, unfortunately. I'm still amazed at how well the last run went, despite the fact that I had terrible items. I mean, of course, it wasn't a success, but it went fairly well. We're gonna check for the secret room here. Very nice, money equals power. Bob's rotten head, not worth it. So we'll go up to the left, I guess. We've already made a little bit of headway over here. And this is another dead end. This is a very scary situation. We worked it out. Better than I would have expected. Chad's dropping hearts, which I have no interest in. Slot machine could be useful. A couple of Geminis here. This is worth a uh, Book of Belial, I think. It recharges in three rooms anyway. Should be able to kill like these um, Geminis in like two, uh, probably like six or seven hits each. Actually, I wasn't even close to two. Just continue firing these away, doing this little circle strafing. These guys are still attached, which. Surprises me. Certainly they will break soon. I can't tell what shots are his and what shots are mine. I'm just praying that the circle scraping isn't going to allow me to get hit right now. There we go. Finally detached. Too little, too late, buddy. Thank God for the relic probably dropping that spirit heart. I was going to give the credit to Gemini, but he probably didn't deserve it. Can't believe I didn't take damage there. I was like frozen in fear. Just lucky, I guess. Another pill, we don't know what it does. Balls of steel, that's two more spirit hearts. Health nearly off the screen again. Good situation for us. Um, we might as well play this. Ah, that worked out exceptionally well. Could not have planned for that better. This room is almost worth a Book of Belial, but you know, Monstro is as Monstro does, which is not very well. So one more hit, there we go. What is this pill? Haven't had it before, let's try it. Oh no. No issues, still have the tower card, which is borderline the same effect that we just saw. And finally, probably gonna have to deal with Skolex on this floor, which is not a problem in the least. But I guess death would be okay too. Ah, oh, Blast Assist, that's rare. We will pop our Book of Belial. Hopefully get this guy to split before he even gets to do his Monstro. Ah, no. Close though. And we basically got just regular blast assist. Again, can't tell what shots are his and what shots are mine. This might be a good opportunity to use the tower card, although I, <laughs> I can't tell whose shots are whose. Ah, uh, it's not really worth the tower. I shouldn't be taking this much damage. Oh well. There is a deal with the devil room here. If it's Krampus, doesn't really bother me. It's not. Ah, uh, yeah, let's definitely pick up Boomstone. It makes us low on health, but I don't have to deal with this uh, broken mirror bullshit anymore. And I have a ton of damage, so I basically should just be able to wipe this. Range up. Worthless, but might as well pick it up, because I already spent the two keys anyway. 
Alright, so let's just get these guys in a row. Try not to handcuff myself too much here. I know some people dislike Brimstone. Oh well, I got it towards the end of the run. And I'm playing authentically, you know? Like, if I was playing in a, a World Championship Binding of Isaac situation, I would 100% pick up Brimstone if given the opportunity. That would also be a terrible competition because the game is, at least to a certain extent, based on luck. What do we have a tarot card here? Temperance, that is a blood bank. Could be useful to us. Alright, blowing through keys like crazy here. Now, with Brimstone, we should be able to kill our doppelganger yeah, very easily. And then does this guy go down? Judgment. Uh, you did me wrong earlier, buddy, so I have you no know, interest in helping you out now. Probably just gonna spend it on drugs anyway. Hmm. Alright, so we went the wrong way. That is known to happen from time to time. Could go to the arcade, but I consider that usually a waste of, waste of time. Secret room. Again, incredible luck so far. Slot machine does not appeal to me because, again, waste of time. I could have just gone to the arcade if I wanted that. Love me some brimstone. The ability to take out those cysts in one hit is, uh, you know, not to be understated. And another dead end, so I guess I am going to explore the entirety of the wound part two here. But with this, like, overpowered brimstone, we should be able to d destroy mom's heart without too much, too many problems. Thought about using Book of Belial in this room, but it's probably not worth it in the end. Not necessary, I should say. Worth it is, is more of a, I guess, a nebulous distinction. There we go. Let's try going to the right here. I love these enemies. They're like the easiest enemies you ever encounter once you get into the womb. Oh, I got two more keys. Why not? Empress. That's a good card. This pill. Oh, almost walked on the spikes there. Tears down. Thank God I picked that up. Risking my hard-earned health. Can't believe that didn't kill any of the Diglets. Well, I guess we made up for it on the next one. You guys popping and locking all over the place. I guess we'll go down? There's the boss room. I kind of was just going with my gut feeling there. And we will fight Mom's Heart here, which should be easy. Since I have the, uh, again, super overpowered Brimstone, we will pop our Book of Belial. Use the Empress for the awesome curse effect, which is going to give us, like, damage out of this world. Not to mention we have these bombs that we can drop, take out the zombies. You know, my damage is actually not as high as I expected. I guess she's helping me out, though. Got Zambies. Again, not a problem. Mom's heart already at 50%. Below 50%. Luka Flies didn't even get a chance, man. That's the most risky part of this fight every time, is when she shoots out those red flies. And it almost always happens right as she's about to go, like, uh, full bombs all the time. So there's our Relic Earned Spirit Heart. And down to Shoal. Basically, as far as I'm concerned, nothing can stop me right now. I'm, I'm too overpowered. As you can see, that would have been an exceptionally difficult room for me if I did not have Brimstone. But I do! So nothing's ever going to stand in my way again. That was horrible damage. I can't believe I took that. Uh, and watch this. Yeah, too bad your bullets can't go through those rocks. I was hoping that would give me a Spirit Heart. That would have been the, the coup de grace, but... This is probably Book of Belial worthy. Well, it located the secret room for me. Thanks a lot. With my luck, uh, you know, greed could just be in there, but maybe not. Might as well take a look. He's not going to be at full health again, is he? <laughs> okay. You're smarter than I thought you were, war. Where are you going to come from this time? There we go. And we got him slowed, so there's nothing you can do to me. I had to beat you twice, but it eventually worked out. Empress Tarot card again, really useful for that curse. You know what, this is worth using uh, Book of Belial on. Should be able to take out Fistula. Like one hit each. Alright, now we don't have to worry so much about crowd control. Hopefully. Two more to go. Got decent health. And nothing is really concerning me. The only thing that could stop me is, like, first getting every dead end in this entire floor and running into some, like, seriously difficult rooms. Like, rooms uh, where I was dealing with, like, mostly single target. Or, like, yeah, mostly, um, like, crowd control. Although, you know, Brimstone's great for crowd control. 
I'm not sure. I'm, I'm coming up with blanks here, especially since we got this Tinted Rock. Which gives us no, one more Spirit Heart. That's a little bit more tolerance with respect to our chances for success. Probably the boss room is not up from here. Although it, it's got to be up somewhere. Maybe this way. Judgment again. Why waste my time? I was hoping that would take out the greed, but I guess we'll have to do some split duty here. One more hit. Excellent. Well, that was easy. And I'm guessing it's not this way. But hey, thank god we went this way because there's another tinted rock. Surprisingly long run for an overpowered run like this. That extra health is not gonna hurt. And we could still have like five or six rooms before we actually get to the boss room here. Just because we are apparently most unlucky navigators in Binding of Isaac history. It's like some House of Leaves shit where the floor keeps reorienting itself based on my progress. Alright, easy modes. Why am I even bothering to pick up these keys? What do I think I'm gonna come across? Like a 10 chest chestception? Again, super easy. Let's go fight the boss, right? Why not? Uh, victory for me here would be if I could beat them. <laughs> wow, that was bad. If I could beat them without getting hit at all. Uh, might as well use the curse as well because, you know, why not? Should be able to take out the fallen. Maybe two more hits. Yeah, all right. Now we got Satan. Let's drop this bomb into the situation. No Jersey Shore references there. Ah, that was close. I really need Gish to get like a single slow off. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> There's Satan's second form, Dominic. Alright, as long as I don't get stepped on ten times, I'll be alright. That's gonna do a number on him. Oh, so close to taking some damage there. One more. There we go, super easy. Didn't take any damage on the final boss fight. See, I love these Judas runs, man. It's just way... I don't know, it's easier. It's high risk, high reward. I mean, I guess I did fail a run 59 seconds in, but... Oh well. Then another successful run 36 minutes later. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.